Hey everyone, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing, but you guys know what time it is. We're going to be talking about Caspa itself. What exactly is happening with Caspa? I know it's been quite some time since I've given you guys a Caspa update. Honestly, it's been extremely, extremely busy. You know, there was a lack of updates to begin with uh, in terms of everything, not just Caspa. Uh, but, you know, I've been seeing your guys' comments. You know, you guys want to see those Caspa updates, and I'll bring you guys just that. You know, your support goes a long way, right? So if you do enjoy these updates, uh, smash that like button, hit that red subscribe button. But now let's talk everything Caspa. What exactly is happening with Cas right now? So if we're looking at the daily time frame right now for Caspa, up 3 0.4%. You know, that's really nice to see, of course. Um, on the weekly time frame, let's see if there's anything exciting. Not, not much excitement in terms of that. And on the monthly time frame, of course, not much excitement. We know Caspa has been quite, uh, you know, quite quiet, um, you know, pretty much the entire year of 2024 which is quite uh, interesting of course because you know we're talking about a project that took the cryptocurrency market by storm one of the uh, biggest gainers last year and you know this coin went under the radar until it started getting listed on the big exchanges and you know of course uh, that's where excitement came in and speaking about big exchanges we're talking about still some of the biggest tier one exchange still missing and still despite that fact you know caspa's community is extremely bullish on this specific project and what you're seeing is you know the way the price is holding that's what i want to emphasize right now for you guys so let's talk about that before i get into it any further you guys know the good old disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in crypto if we're looking at the price it's above 10 cents which is of course really nice to see 10.36 cents to be exact also up 3.5% over the past 24 hours in BTC compared with the market cap currently sitting above $2 billion. So, you know, that's something I want to emphasize. The market cap for Caspa continuously holds above that $2 billion mark, which is a really, really good thing. And I think this is worthwhile noting, you know, it's up um, at $2.34 billion with the 24-hour trading volume currently sitting at about $19.3 million. And yes, before anyone comes and comments down below, um, you know, that Caspa has really low liquidity compared to its competitors. But, you know, again, you know, this should not be a surprise to any one of us because we're still missing on majority of the big exchanges. You know, this right here is the uh, list of exchanges that have listed it right now. And you guys are not seeing the big boys. You're not seeing Coinbase. You're not seeing Kraken. You're not seeing um, Binance. So, of course, this gives you know, an indication why we're not seeing as much volume as to uh, what we're seeing with its competitors, because majority of its competitors, believe it or not, have, you know, been listed on all these major exchanges. And of course, major exchanges bring in massive amount of liquidity for, um, you know, strong projects. But despite that fact, even though it's been listed on these certain exchanges, people still um, have gone on to these exchanges just to pick up some Caspa because, of course, there's so much interest in it. And that should just show you uh, the interest level. We haven't still seen Binance come and list this, which is really, really funny to me. I don't know what Binance is doing. If they're able to list this on their, um, you know, futures platform, and not on their spot. I don't know what exactly their uh, way of thinking is, but you know, this will be really beneficial when that happens. And I'm going to share as to why. So of course, you know, let's briefly take a look at the Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the king of the markets. If you do follow me on my channel for my other updates, you know, the significance of Bitcoin. Um, every single time I take a look at Bitcoin because it's one of the biggest uh, key uh, components, um, you know, that do correlate majority of the cryptocurrency markets it's the king of the market at the end of the day and everything is correlated to it and what we're seeing with btc right now is it's having a really hard time breaking back into the 38.2 and i've been quite clear you know if we're able to get back into the 38.2 fibonacci retracement level i do expect that we will see another rally occurring for the entire space so that's that as far as bitcoin is concerned but you know i gotta talk something about caspa which is I don't think a lot of people are noticing. You know, there's a lot of things happening in the space right now. You know, Caspa, of course, let's, if you guys have not been here pretty much, uh, you know, last year, and this is your first time coming to the space, let me give you guys a quick a rundown as to what happened with Caspa. You can pretty much see if this for yourself. This project ran up a lot, especially once it broke out uh, of this 3.6 cents mark. You can pretty much see this for yourself. You know, this thing ran up. 
329% after that. But of course, if you were one of the people that were picking it up in October of 2022, you were up thousands and thousands of percent. So, you know, what you're seeing happening right now with CASPA is consolidation. And, you know, this consolidation is worthwhile noting, you know, the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level, which I've told you guys from the beginning, you know, it's a huge level of support for it. Um, you know, we've seen several wicks below it, but it manages to make its way back up to the uh, 78.6, which, you know, in terms of its price is at the 10 cents mark. And of course, you know, 10 cents is a psychological price point, you know, pretty much even though we've seen several, you know, rejections below it. It, it makes its way back into the 38.2 I'm sorry the 78.2 Fibonacci retracement level and that is extremely bullish and I think a lot of people are overlooking this right now of course you know Caspa has a lot of traction right now because it's a layer two and as I've said to you guys from the beginning um, if you literally go look layer twos and layer ones are what people are talking about right now in the crypto space and you know the reason as to why we're seeing less interest in Caspa as of now is because airdrop farming you know Solana ecosystem exploding at such a tremendous rate you know so many airdrops we've seen dimension we've seen um you know um magic eden announcing some points we've seen jupiter airdrop and you know this is taking people's interest elsewhere people are farming people are farming on other chains and you know this is what gets me excited uh you know about the overall space but you know that's just on its own but what's happening with other projects is they're not gaining as much traction. Uh, but what you're seeing with Caspa, despite not gaining a lot of traction, it continues to hold around this 10 cents mark. And this is worthwhile noting. And that's before Binance or Coinbase. And I think it's a matter of time because Binance has already listed this on their exchange on the futures platform. I think it's a matter of time where they finally come out and, and announce uh, the listing of a Caspa on their spot trading. And, you know, if it's able to hold at this 10 cents mark, I think Caspa could run up really, really fast and even break all-time highs just by the announcement itself um, so you know it's pretty much looks like you know it has found um, you know a stabilized area where it wants to stabilize which is the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level uh, we haven't seen the price uh, get back into the 61.8 pretty much since the 15th of January so it's been almost a month since the price of CAS has been in that range. so that would be lovely to reclaim but of course one step at a time like what I'm seeing to be quite frank with you guys I think um, you know slowly but surely the steam will come back in especially when altcoin season begins which i think we still have a few months to go until that you know parabolic um altcoin season begins i think after the btc happening but we're going to take it one step at a time let me know down below what you guys think what do you uh see casper trading at at the end of the year of 2024 that's what i know from for you guys and where do you see caspa uh you know trading at and of course comparing co to its massive competitors and speaking about competitors we have a wide range of competitors that are out there of course i've been quite clear from the beginning this bull market of course gains could be made in several different um, layer ones and layer twos but long-term perspective not all of these will be here to stay and that is something i'm going to be quite clear i've been quite clear from the beginning about it uh yeah short term yes you know of course um a lot of the ones that do have a hype will i think um you know make massive gains this bull cycle but after the bull cycle it's going to be really 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 important to see which ones really thrive um, and which ones get that mass adoption uh, so that's going to be really interesting to see let me know down below what you guys think and yeah that is it for today's update love you all see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out